President and CEO Jeff Cooper joins us now with the latest on this. Jeff, we appreciate you taking the time out on this Friday. So what are the highlights of the report when it comes to total economic impact on that sector? Well, thanks, Tammy. And, and, you know, the ethanol market has been improving as driving has increased in the past few months. Uh, but ethanol demand is still way below pre-COVID levels and, and far below where we were a year ago. Uh, we do still have a number of facilities that are idled or, or operating well below their normal capacity. We still have a lot of workers furloughed. Uh, so we're still experiencing a lot of economic pain in the industry. And, and as our analysis found, you know, we think we've already lost close to $3.5 billion just between the middle of March and the end of June because of substantially lower sales volumes, lower prices. Uh, you know, we, we bought 500 million bushels less of, of corn than we would have uh, normally bought during that time period. Uh, and we're still experiencing a lot of uncertainty moving forward. We, we, you know, as, as we found in the analysis, we think the financial losses could expand to as much as $9 billion dollars by 2021 if we continue to see repressed demand and low prices for our product. All right, those are huge numbers. Now, how many plants had to shut down or idle production during that time period? Well, just for context, we have 204 ethanol plants in the U.S., and at the lowest point in April, we had more than 100 of those facilities that were completely shut down and idled, uh, and another 50 or so facilities that were operating far below uh, normal operating rates. So this, this, this pandemic has been completely devastating for the industry. We have seen a lot of those facilities come back online in, in recent weeks, which is great news. They're starting to buy and, and grind corn again. Uh, but as I said, we still have a very long way to go before we climb out of this hole. So what do you think the big takeaway is from this report and what, what do things look like moving forward? Well, you know, we think it really underscores the need uh, for ethanol and other renewable fuels to be included in the next stimulus package uh, that is working through Congress. The, the last stimulus package provided lots of financial assistance to the agriculture industry and, and various commodities, but ethanol was left out of that package and, and sort of left to fend for ourselves. So we're really encouraging Congress to make sure that ethanol isn't left behind in a fourth package. We know the Senate uh, next week will begin working on their version of, you know, a fourth stimulus bill. The House has already done theirs, and fortunately it does include direct aid for ethanol producers. So we're hoping the same thing ends up in the Senate version of, of this package and, and they can get something to the president's desk before everybody takes off for August recess. All right, hope so. Hopefully we'll get some news on that next week. That's Renewable Fuels Association President and CEO Jeff Cooper. We appreciate your time today.